Last night on the show, we talked to a, re a reporter from the New York Times about Silicon Valley's tech bro sensibility and the failure of one startup whose mission was essentially to gentrify the San Francisco bus system. Our guest tonight is the man behind a company devoted to finding and helping startups with more positive missions, and he's doing it through festivals. You might know John Battelle as the founder of the Industry Standard or the co-founding editor of Wired. He was also a pioneer in blog advertising and the founder of Federated Media. In 2012, Battelle started a venture called NuCo, and he's here to tell today to talk to us about it. Welcome, John. Thank you for having me. So explain what NuCo is and why you started it. Well, it started really as a passion project. Uh, at the end of 2011, I kind of woke up after doing um, my, I think it was my eighth Web2 Summit, uh, which is your classic, you know, gather 1,500 people in a big hotel ballroom and and parade, you know, 60 uh, or 70 speakers in front of them over the course of two and a half days. And I just woke up and couldn't do it anymore. And I, I didn't know why uh, at the time. I just knew that I didn't have a heart for it. And I think part of it had to do with the proliferation of all the tech media that had happened in the eight years since uh, Tim O'Reilly and I started that uh, conference. Part of it also was just a general um, malaise around the whole model of how um, we were presenting um, founders and interesting companies. It struck me that it was starting to move in a direction that felt uh, a bit too um, laudatory. Um, and uh, it was almost moving into a, a, a sensibility that the, you know, that the whole story was about this one person on stage as opposed to the company and the mission of that company and what the company was, uh, what kind of change that company was trying to affect. Um, and it was hard to deliver the idea and the true feeling of, of, of what happens inside of a company by taking one person out of it and sticking them on stage. I found uh, that in my work over the years, the best way to understand a company and truly get a sense of its, of its core narrative uh, and the change that they were trying to affect was to go inside the offices, see what's on the walls, meet the founders, get a tour maybe, get a demo maybe, you know, see what's on the walls and uh, see who's in the, in the building. Um, and so uh, my co-founders and I came up with this idea of uh, turning the conference model inside out. Um, and instead of putting all the attendees in one place and then putting, you know, uh, speakers in front of them, which was obviously very good for the speakers, um, but not necessarily a great experience for the audience in terms of learning and get, gathering information and connecting. Um, we redistribute the attendees around a given city and the companies open their doors and you choose your schedule through uh, the day, which companies you want to see between 10 to 20 companies every hour. Um, and it has an intentionality, which is really interesting because it creates a, almost a flash social network when people are all in one place at one time because they want to meet the founders of alt school. They all share a passion or an interest in the new alt school model. Um, and that creates a really interesting group and set of connections there, not just for the attendees, but also for the people who are presenting inside their own offices at alt school. They have 40 or 50 or 60 people sitting in front of them who have all raised their hand and gotten out of their offices and into the headquarters of Alt School to meet uh, the founders. Uh, so it seemed to me a much richer idea. Uh, and we piloted it in 2012 in one market here in San Francisco. And, and now we have uh, 15 or more markets around the world that are doing this model. Yeah, that's really interesting. I mean, I think it's so important to to get people out. You know, we're so into social media. We think we're connecting with people uh, when we're not really. I mean, looking people face to face is so important. Uh, the other yeah. the other thing it seems like you're really trying to create and find companies uh, with a positive mission. Uh, the, yes. po they want to make positive change in the world. Uh, can right. you talk a little bit about what that means? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I've never done a media product that doesn't have a strong framework uh, and an editorial point of view. Um, and it, they, uh, everything I've ever done sort of follows, a, I would say, a long standing uh, narrative that has to do with the impact of technology uh, as it intersects with culture. Um, and it struck me that in the past few years, there's really been a shift in new company creation. The ones that are growing the fastest, the ones that seem to have the greatest impact, uh, whether that's a small impact in a small market or a big impact in a big market, um, 
the companies all shared a common set of characteristics. Um, and, and at the core of it was that they were all mission driven. And of course, any company can write a mission uh, and have a mission, but not every company is on a mission. Um, and so I started noticing the most interesting companies to me personally were those that were really on a mission. And when you took that apart, you saw that they were on a mission to affect some kind of positive change, either in the market that they're in um, or um, in the way they express themselves as a business um, or both. Uh, so how do they treat their workers? Um, how do they uh, create the space where people work? What kind of policies do they have? What kind of change are they trying to make in their market? It almost always starts uh, with the ability to answer a very simple question, which is, wouldn't it be cool if dot, 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 right? And, and so, like, you know, wouldn't it be cool if uh, when you traveled abroad, you could stay in native people's homes and, and get the point of view of someone who's a, who, who actually lives in that area? And that becomes Airbnb or HomeAway. Um, and, or, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we completely rethought how schools work uh, and tailored individual education to the student as opposed to forcing them into a K through 12 death march? And that's alt school, right? Um, and as, you know, as with anything, to sort of name it and say, hey, it seems like there's a lot of these companies, all of a sudden they're everywhere. Uh, and so our mission is to identify all of those companies. Uh, and to celebrate them with our festivals and then later with the media that we're planning to roll out um, and then to connect them to each other.